Hey guys, I am finally doing my liquid lipstick roundup video. So, this has been a long time coming. I have many different brands and colors of liquid long lasting lipsticks, and they have pretty much been all I've been wearing lately. I have nothing on today, actually. Um, I probably look sunburned. I hope it's not too bad. My face looks really pink in person. Um, but I'm going to start not in any particular order, I guess, but um, I do have... There's a couple brands that I have several colors of, so I'm just going to swatch them all for you. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is a pretty affordable one. These are like $5.99, $6.99, depending where you get them. These are the Rimmel 16 Hour Provocalypse. And I have a nude color and ah, a nude color and a kind of a rosy reddish pink. Um, these are pretty good for a drugstore liquid lipstick. They have they're double ended, so the color is on this end. So you have this nude one, which I really like the color of, and then you have this pinkish. And these don't really have a scent to them. They're pretty opaque and pigmented, and one coat is good. Um, the thing with these, these are really sticky on the lips until you put this clear gloss over them, and then that kind of just like kills the stickiness. I don't know what magicalness is in there, but um, once that wears off, you have to reapply the gloss part because your lips will get sticky again. That's the only downside that I've found with these. But other than that, for the price, they're really good. They last pretty a pretty long time. Um, if you eat like anything oily, as with most of these, I'm gonna say that if you eat oily stuff you're gonna have to reapply it because it's gonna fade. Some worse than others, but I just figured that's worth mentioning. Um, these don't go completely matte, as you can see. They don't really fully completely set until you put that clear stuff over it, which is probably why your lips are sticky until you do that. Um, but yeah, those are the Rimmel Provocalypse. Now, um, what can I do next? I only have one of these. This is from the brand MUA. And I, I think it's Makeup Academy. I think it's the same brand. But it says MUA Lux. So it's like a, I, I guess, a fancier line. I'm not sure what the price of these are. You can only get them in the UK, so, or in Europe. I'm not sure if it's just in the UK or if it's all of Europe. Um, but, uh, I ended up getting this off eBay and I paid like 11 bucks for it, so I'm sure they're cheaper than that, but this is the color Tranquility. This one is, it kind of smells like paint, but it doesn't, um, that doesn't really last long or anything. This is another nude color. This was when I was on my obsessive hunt for a dupe for Lime Crimes Cashmere, and this one is nowhere close, but it's a nice peach. This one does last like all day long, really good, even with eating and everything, but it's very drying on the lips. So I will say that about this one. It does have that moussey consistency to it, like the Lime Crime ones do, but um, it's very, very drying. So that's the only downside of this brand. It's not sticky or anything, dries really fast, so that one's nice. That's um, MUA Lux, and I only have one of those. Um, then we have this is another brand I only have one color of this is Makeup Revolution which is becoming one of my favorite brands this is another European brand um, I believe their website is just makeuprevolution.com they actually have like a sister company now um, called Freedom Freedom Professional London or something like that. I just ordered a few things from there so I want to like, it's all really affordable stuff even though it's being shipped from um, overseas. They're, the shipping was free on that website. I think it's just freedomlondon.com. I will look it up and I will put the info below. But I'll have that video soon. I'm getting off on a tangent here. Um, this is the Salvation Velvet Lacquer. It's a really pretty like violet color and this is the color keep lying for you. Now this is hard to open. No scent to this one. 
I have to smell them because I can't remember which ones have a scent and which ones don't. This one is really, really pretty. Super opaque and pigmented. This is like that moussey consistency again. Um, you really only need like one coat of this. This one also dries very fast and it is, it's pretty much spot on the same as the MUA Lux one, but it's not as drying, which I like. So that's what that one looks like. Really pretty color. I'm going to have to get some more of these because they're just, they're awesome. They're smudge proof, kiss proof. All these ones I've showed you before, all, blah, all these ones I've showed you so far are smudge proof and kiss proof. I will have to mention if any of them aren't. Um, what do I have next? All right, Colored Rain. I also only have one color from them. This is a really cool, like, indie company. This is the color Sugar. It's a very nice nude. And, again, this one has, like, a paint smell to it, but it doesn't linger. So these pretty much perform the same exact way as the Lime Crime ones, like spot on. Um, it's shiny now, but this dries completely matte. Um, not too drying on the lips. I really, really like this brand. Uh, but they're like $16 for an indie brand of lipstick. So if it depends on whether or not you want to spend that much, but I would say they're worth it. They're just as good as the Lime Crime ones. They, um, they have a ton of different colors but for some reason this one just spoke to me. Um, their packaging is a little boring, so if you're a packaging person like I am, you're not going to be too impressed with it, but gets the job done. Totally smudge-proof, kiss-proof. Um, even with eating oily stuff, it stays on, so this is like one of the top-of-the-line ones here. Well, Lime Crime. I do have three of their Velveteens. These are probably some of the best liquid lipsticks, but um, everybody has their own opinions on the whole Lime Crime scandal. I personally am not going to order from them anymore, but I'm not going to not use the stuff I already have because that's just wasteful. So I have Pink Velvet, I have Red Velvet, and then I have Wicked. Um, these are just really, really awesome liquid lipsticks. These are more like watery than most, but so pigmented. They dry completely matte. That is Pink Velvet. They dry completely matte, smudge proof, kiss proof. They stay on all day. They need like a makeup remover to take them off. The Wicked formula is a little bit creamier, I noticed. That's Wicked, the super dark red. And then Red Velvet is just like a true blue-based red. Perfect, perfect red. And that is that one. So these dry relatively quickly. Um, like I said, they're hard to get off. They didn't completely set on my hand here, but once they're dry, you need something good to take them off with, which, and I've raved about this before, for um, these long-lasting liquid lipsticks that like refuse to budge, I use this Sephora Oil in Gel Lipstick Remover. This is like the best. I have three of these because I bought two backups. They were on clearance. I think they're still on clearance on the website for $5, so I'm afraid they're getting rid of them. That's usually what they do with the clearance stuff. So I have backups. I'll have to find something else. Um, I know like regular olive oil and everything works, but that's just convenient to have it right there on my makeup table. Something that everybody's been going nuts over lately, um, ever since the Lime Crime thing happened, were the LA Splash ones three different brands. Um, they have Lip Couture, uh, what, what's the full name? Lip Couture Waterproof Liquid Lipstick. They have Smitten Lip Tint. These are the mousse, right? Smitten Lip Tint. Smitten Lip Tint. I have two of the Smitten Lip Tints and then I have one of the Studio Shine Lip Lusters, which is like matte but it has glitter in it, which is really cool. So, um, they're pretty much all the same. I don't know why they have so many different names. In my opinion, they're all the same. <laughs> they work the same. They're all smear proof, budge proof, kiss proof, stay on all day, and these are probably some of the hardest ones to remove. So like I said, I need that oil and gel lipstick remover. So this is ghoulish, and this is like the perfect dupe for Lime Crimes Cashmere. This is the one that's constantly sold out on their site because everybody is nuts over this color. Um, I really, really love it. It has a really long flat applicator, which is nice for getting in the inner corners of your lips. So again, super opaque. 
I really have nothing bad to say about any of these. So that is ghoulish. It's a really, like, that's a color I didn't think I was going to like on me, but I actually really, really do. Um, again, goes dry super matte. It dries super matte. It doesn't budge once it is completely dry. Um, Alright, and then, like I said, I have two of the sm Smitten Lip Tints. This one is Charmed, and this is just a matte kind of beige nude. Not too far off from Ghoulish, but Ghoulish is definitely more gray. That's Ghoulish, that's Charmed. And then I got a crazy color one, uh, which is Sirius. Um, this is a really dark navy. And this is a crazy, crazy color. It's super, super dark. It looks black on my camera screen, but that's what that one looks like. And then um, in the Studio Shine one, they have a bunch named after Disney princesses, so of course I had to get the Ariel one. And this is a really pretty pink. Not, ver not a very unique pink, but... Um, with these Studio Shine ones, like I said, they're matte and they have glitter in them. So what you do with this is, see, so you can't really see the glitter right now. You have to wait until it dries on your lips and then you rub over it and you can see the glitter. It's really odd to do that with a lip product, but that's how they tell you to use them and it really does work. So I will show you in a second here. As soon as I can get it to dry, I will rub over it and... We're like creamy and matte looking. It's gonna take a while to dry because I put such a heavy swatch so I'll just go into the next thing here and keep talking um, all right so the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones I got really dark colors for some reason I just gravitated towards those in this um, this is sad girl which is again it's a matte with glitter in it but you don't have to activate it like with the LA splash one uh, it's a really dark like burgundy with pink glitter in it and then potion which is a matte eggplant color um, with these these are awesome but they take a long time to like dry and set so you kind of have to blot a few times to get it completely dry and matte and everything so that it will be kiss proof and smudge proof and everything again just a doe foot these don't have any scent none of these have any scent except the lime crime smells like cake so far those are the only ones with a real scent to them um, this is Sad Girl. Really, really pretty deep dark shade with some glitter. It's not like super crazy glitter. You can't feel it in the lip gloss itself, the lipstick itself. Um, and then Potion is like so dark, it's almost black with a tinge of purple in it. That's Potion. But that'll be cool for uh, fall anyway. Yeah, the other one is still not dry yet. I'm going to wipe them all off to make room here, except for that aerial one, because I want to show you the glitter in it once you rub. The LA Splash ones really stick and take some scrubbing to get off. Okay, so I still have the aerial one on there. I want that to dry completely so I can show you the glitter in it. Now, um, there's only two brands left here. I'm going to show you... Jeffree Star. Um, these are his Velour liquid lipsticks. I have Anna Nicole, um, Queen Supreme, 714, and I'm Nude. So these were, I think these were all limited edition shades, but they're making them permanent or something. I don't know, but um, these smell like paint too. I know everybody raves about these. I like the applicator because it's got like a curve to it. So this is I'm Nude. Really nice. These kind of have a similar consistency to um, the Lime Crime ones. They're more liquidy, but they dry pretty fast and they dry super matte. This is I'm Nude. The only thing with these is I don't find they last as long for me. Like, they don't last all day long like most of these do. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what, but even just eating and drinking normal stuff I have to touch up, but they're still really pretty, so I'm not going to complain. Um, Queen Supreme is an awesome, bright, bubblegum pink. That's Queen Supreme. It looks like neon, almost, but it's actually really flattering, which I'm surprised. As with this one, 714, this is a neon coral. 
it's like it's neon but pastel at the same time if that makes any sense this is not like dark coral it's really really light and then Anna Nicole is an orangey red which I didn't think I was gonna like on me because I like blue based reds but this one's just like really really nice so that is Anna Nicole and those are all the Jeffree Star ones the last brand I have is of course Kat Von D um, I have four of her liquid lipsticks three of these are the old packaging one is the new one um, there's a bunch coming out in July so I'm excited to get some more of these one of the metallic ones which I don't think they even make anymore but this was the this was backstage Bambi the metallic version and it's a really pretty metallic metallic pink right there which they are coming out with metallic liquid lipsticks again but I don't know if that color is going to be included I think they revamped them or whatever but that is the one that I have and then regular backstage Bambi which is a totally different pink it's way darker than the metallic version but this comes in her regular studded kiss do they make studded the studded kiss one I don't know but this was in her regular lipstick line so that's backstage Bambi and that's the metallic backstage Bambi then we have Lolita and there are several different releases or versions of this um, I have this is the very first version of Lolita so if it looks different than the one you have that is why um, it's just like a it's slightly darker than my natural lip color and it's really really nice that's Lolita sorry I still have eczema over here <laughs> it's going away but at least I can swatch on my hand again that is Lolita and then the newest one that I have is Armageddon which is a it's pretty close to Queen Supreme actually I'll swatch it right next to there it's like a bubblegum pink so this is Armageddon from Kat Von D and that is Queen Supreme from Jeffree Star so Armageddon is slightly lighter and that is all of them um, my favorites of course are Kat Von D I have to go with Kat Von D they just I pick these because even when I eat oily food and stuff it'll still stay on all day like I'm so impressed with these lipsticks I always have been since the moment I tried them but there are several other ones that give those a run for their money I would say the the next best after Kat Von D for me anyway are the um, LA splash ones I can't believe that these are only like $11 um, depending on what kind like I said the lip coutures and then the smitten lip tints they're all between like 11 and 13 dollars I think they were but that is my roundup here I just wanted to talk about all the ones I have tell you which ones are good and which ones are eh. um, honestly they're all pretty great there are some that last longer than others like the Jeffree Star ones do not last all day for me I know everybody loves them too and I, I do love them I love the colors and stuff and they are long-lasting but I do have to touch them up throughout the day and I don't have to do that with the Kat Von D ones or the LA Splash ones um, probably the least the least long wearing are the Rimmel ones but again these are like $5.99 drugstore ones so you get what you pay for with these but they are still pretty good if you want a long wearing lipstick um, the the red one the darker one does last a little longer on me than the nude one does so I guess maybe with the darker shades they work better but that is everything and I have all my liquid lipsticks in an old um, Bath and Body Works candle that I just took the last of the wax out um, it just makes it really easy for me to see which ones are which so I can get use out of all of them I do have this Kat Von D one too which was classified as a lipstick but it's really just a lip gloss this was uh, super liminal there's a truck going by super liminal and it came out with the I can't remember the names of her palettes she has so many of them it came out with the Esperanza palette when this was released but this was only available for like one day on Sephora so I don't know what was up with that but um, it's just like sorry you can hear Aiden in the background it's just like a color shifting one 
Like it looks green in some lights and pink in others and it's just like one you put over lipsticks to kind of change the color. Um, it doesn't have a scent to it or anything, but it's definitely a lips, lip gloss and not a lipstick so I don't know what was up with that, um, but I really like it. I just It's not sticky or anything, but I don't know why they called it a lipstick and not a lip gloss or why it was only available for one day. So let's go back to this Ariel one and I will rub it for you so you can see the glitter. It's actually not working as well as it does on my lips. Well that was a waste of time waiting for this to dry, huh? When you do rub it, it has some metallicness to it so you can see now it's not matte anymore but it works a lot better on your lips and you can see the pink glitter coming through so I hope you guys enjoyed my um, my 23 minute long video now that I have to edit down. But see, everything else came off. That Ariel one is still on there. The LA, the LA Splash ones are so hard to get off. Look, I'm rubbing really hard and it is not going off. I will do this to you in a sec. So I hope you guys, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this roundup video. What are you doing? Someone wants to say hi. With cookie all over his face. Now you want fruit snacks? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you in my next one. Say bye. Star. Say bye, night star. Bye. Careful. Bye. 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 -bye. <laughs> Don't get scared, take a chance. Don't let it slip through your hands. Love will save you.